Hello, Jewel students, Jewel fans. Ben Teacher here with a special how to <clears throat> video for you today. It is December, it is the Christmas season. And in the spirit of giving, not getting, giving, our goal this month is to make a how to video so that you can teach others a skill so that you can give the gift that might just keep on giving. You know, if you teach someone how to do something, what was it that was said once? If you give a man a fish, well, he'll eat it. He'll be happy, right? But if you teach him to fish, ah, there's the ticket. There's the secret. He can get his own fish, can't he? Let's give each other the gift of teaching a skill. How can we do that? A how-to video. Absolutely. So we're going to make a video showing someone, telling someone, explaining to someone how to do something, something that you know how to do well, some skill. All right. My skill, uh, kind of, is I know how to make GimKit maps. So my video today is how to use GimKit Creative to you to make a map. I'm going to show you a little bit how to do that. So a couple of different things with your video. It would be best if you also showed something. All right. If you cannot show the action itself, perhaps you can show a drawing or you can. What else? What else? You can you, you can do what you're doing. You can show your drawing. You can explain it as well as you can and you can give us something to look at. Give us something to look at. That's that's what we really want to see with a video, isn't it? Um, okay. Just like any video, you should have an introduction. All right. Which I will give you now. All right. This video is about how to make your own GimKit map with GimKit Creative. We love GimKit here at Jewel, And we know that you love it too. Uh, making a map is a fun activity in itself. Sharing that map with others is even more fun. So I'm going to show you, this is what you should do with your introduction. You should say what your topic is, but also say why you are going to explain this. Say what the goal of this presentation is. So my goal is to show you the basics, to show you some simple tricks and tools to get you started. It's a complicated process, but I'm going to show you the most important things to help you begin today. All right, that's my introduction. Now. In my video, I'm also going to be explaining steps, which you use simple transitions for, right? First, second, third, okay, then, after that, right? We need these transitions to show our steps, our progress for this task, okay? We also need explanations. So we do this because, okay, uh, the reason you must have this is because Let's have some nice explanations there too. Enough said. Let's begin. Let's begin. Sharing the screen. All right. Gim Kit Creative. I've got, I've got my hard hat on. We're ready to build. First, first of all, when you use Gim Kit Creative, you can't use Gim Kit Creative until you l make a Gim Kit account. You must first make an account. It's free. Now, there is a paid account that has some extras, but you don't need to pay anything with GimKit. That's the marvelous part about it. Join for free. You need a uh, an email address, and you need to make a password, and then you have an account. Voila. Now, when you play using that account, you also earn points, and you can buy these amazing skins and characters and things like I have and you've seen when we play together. So that's a second benefit. But uh, the other benefit is you can use creative. When you log in with your account, you go to this, you'll have an account now. You click the button creative. And oh my word, oh my. You have <clears throat> the ability to make 10 different maps. All right, that's more than you need, really. Create a new map right here. You can see I've got a couple, a couple of them that you've even tried before. My Super Capture the Flag, my Jewel Hunger Games. Perhaps I'll have to make more. Okay, I've got one started here today. All right, with my hard hat. All right, so you've logged in. You've got your account. What's next? What's next? Next, uh, set up your map for ideal viewing. All right, go to the button in the bottom. 
you'll notice that you can move around just like a regular GimKit map. But you can see things that you don't usually see in GimKit. And these are buttons, these are features, these are building things. This is like a blueprint uh, behind the scenes, perhaps, of what's in the map. <clears throat> You've got some options on the top right, bottom right, and bottom left. Bottom left first, go to your options. Okay, lots of nice options here for sharing. Uh, I want you to go to editing options first. Editing options, I want you to zoom the camera out. Boom, because we want to really see our map here. All right, so let's zoom out as much as we can. And next of all, let's turn up our player speed to all the way as high as it goes, three times. Now, you can just click off and you're going to see immediately, click off, that you're going to be fast. Oh, all right, look at the smoke behind me. And you can see a lot. So this is ideal. This is perfect for building. This is why we do this. Next of all, let's build something. You can see I've already built a few things here, but let me show you some basic features about building. Top right button, you'll see a plus. All right, there's four main things we can add here. Terrain, terrain is floors and walls, the things that you will come into contact with. A wall will block you, a floor you can walk on. All right, so of course you can set what type of floor you want. You can set what type of wall you want. That's simple. The second thing is props. These are objects. Objects. There's so many objects here, some of them really fun. Um, I'm not going to show you much about that, but you can uh, click them. You can place them. Here, you'll notice how to move this. You hover your mouse over it. You can click to modify it. It's got some different uh, features. Uh, if you click uh, if you hover your mouse over it and you click M, you can move it. Click again. All right. If you hover your mouse over it and you click C for copy, you copy it. So things like this are available there. All right. Now, what I really want to show you today, all right, are devices. I'm not going to show you wires today. I'm going to save that for another video. It's a bit more complicated. But devices. We need devices to play the game. We're going to create a game. OK, so what devices have we got? Oh, my. So many flags, counters, tag zones, spawning pads, laser beams, um, item spawners, health granters, vending machines, uh, sentries. So many things. We can't look at everything today. I'm just going to show you a few. Uh, a sentry. We want a robot. We want a robot. All right. Um, there's a lot of items here. So if you'd like. To search for something and you know what it's called, write it on the top, sentry, there, and I found it, click, and you can see I can add a robot sentry, just like the one I put there. Put it here. Now, I want to see what I can do with him. Let's click that sentry. Oh, so many options again. I can give him a weapon. Ooh, so many wonderful weapons to choose from. Let's choose the PLM, the pie launcher. <laughs> you can give him health. You can change his appearance. Make him an evil green plant or an evil pink plant. That's all that we have for options. You can even put him on a team if you want to. So many options here. His difficulty, his health. All right. <clears throat> what would I like to do, though? I'll show you a trick. Let's defeat him and have him get, give something. So knock out. You knock him out. You defeat him. Does he drop an item when knocked out? Says no. But I want it to be yes. Yes. What should he drop? Well, of course, just like any... Decent century. When he's defeated, he should drop a banana, right? A banana. But you can drop anything you like. I will have him drop a banana. How many bananas? One. All right. I'm done there. He's got those features. Okay? Wonderful. Now, what am I going to uh, defeat him with? How am I going to shoot him? I haven't got any, any, any weapons or anything yet. Aha. Perfect. So if you'd like to delete something, by the way, you have an eraser here in the corner. Top left corner. You've got an eraser. Click that. And you need to click uh, an object to delete something. OK, so what do I need? I need another item. Add. OK, uh, now some of these devices there. So I'm in devices right now. Some of these are divided into inventory devices. That's things that you can have. Starting devices, things you need for every map. Interaction devices. So they categorize all the devices here 
into these categories. Um, a nice idea is starting devices. You go here and you have something called starting inventory. Inventory is what you have, your inventory. Let's put this. Now, as you can see, these buttons here, these signs, you don't see these in the real game, but they affect the game. So you put it anywhere. Put it anywhere. It's a question mark now. Click it. And you'll see that it can grant you an item at the start of the game. What do we want? Well, I'd like something to help me defeat these enemies here. I'd like mm, a snowball cannon. Snowball launcher. Here we go. Common snowball launcher. Now, what does this mean? It's going to grant me one of them at the beginning of the game. Fine. So when the game begins, I'll have one. I can click on it. I can use it. Perfect. All right. But what do we got? I shoot one of these fellows. I get a banana when I defeat him. Then what? Then what? What am I going to do with the banana? Well, I want to buy something with my banana. It's a hard, you know, currency. All right. Uh, so what are we going to do? I want to create a vending machine like the one I just deleted here. All right. So let's add it. Go to add. Okay. It's not exactly a starting device, but it is an inventory device that manages what items and resources I have. So I go here and I'm going to see at the top of the list here, a vending machine, just like you buy those chips or a juice or a soda. But we don't want that. What do we want? I wonder. So make a vending machine. Okay. Put it right here. It's a big question mark. Let's uh, check it out. What's it going to do? It's going to grant us an item. Yeah. Yeah. Required item. The item required for a per player to purchase from the vending machine. Well, we bought bananas. A banana. How many bananas? One banana. One banana will buy you what? what are, what's it going to grant us? What's it going to give us? It's going to give us, ooh, what would you like? What would you like? I'd like, I don't know. I don't know. I want something better. I want an evil eye. Oh, oh, oh imagine if I got an evil eye for what? Wow, there we go. Okay. Uh, and that's it. That's it. It's so simple. Done. Now, we've got a simple game right here, don't we? We've got our character. We've got a weapon. We've got an enemy. We've got an item. We've got something to earn, something to gain. Let's try it out. Let's try it out. Everything looks good. Now you're not playing. You can see they're not firing at me. They're not shooting at me. Nothing's happening. You want to try this out. Bottom right corner, play button. It's going to put you into the game immediately. Get ready. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Pies are flying at me. Now I'm normal speed again. And here you can see these enemies that were created are shooting at me. Ouch. All right. Watch out. Watch out, they're there. And there's our evil eye, but it says I cannot afford. Oh no, I need the banana. Where do I get the banana? That's right. Take out your launcher. Get him. Get him. Grab that banana. Ouch. Grab that banana. Got it. Ooh, ooh, I'm taking hits. Now look at how well this works, just like the real game. I've got a banana. Now you can see that I can interact with this because I have it. Enter. I just purchased an evil eye, and here it is. Ta-da, I'm using it. We've just made, you know, a small version of a game here. Okay, so you can try out your map as luck as much as you want. When you're finished, you press stop in the corner. Okay, and it will take you back. Okay, well, you just played the game. All right, you restore the map and you're back to the map. So you can try things out. Now, when you really make a map, you're going to be doing this frequently. You're going to... Add something, go to the game, see how it works. Add something, go to the game, check it out, see how it works. You'll find many mistakes. You'll discover many things through trial and error. This is what this game is all about. In a way, GimKit Creative is like a version of coding. It's coding using blocks. These are giant blocks, and these blocks look like the game. But this is what it is. So to end your how-to presentation, you must make a recommendation for your listener, for your audience. So here's my recommendation. Thank you for watching my how-to video. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. I hope that you learned something about how to create a, a basic map, how to begin creating a map in GimKit Creative. I hope, so we use that word hope for future, for what you want, your audience to do. I hope you try it and learn new things and ask questions and solve problems and have fun. Most of all, you can share it with others. Thank you for listening. Have a fantastic day. I can't wait to see your how-to videos.